A high school student has been sentenced to four years and ten months in prison for the stabbing death of a schoolmate at William Nib High in Trelawney earlier this year. Supreme Court Judge Andrea Thomas handed down the sentence today. The student, who is a minor, pleaded guilty on November 7 to manslaughter arising from the death of a 16-year-old Camel Hall, who was the goalkeeper of the school's football team. The accused pleaded guilty in the Trelawney Circuit Court, but sentencing took place today in the St. James Circuit Court. It was reported that the two students got into a fight on the school compound on March 21. During the fight, a knife was used to stab Hall in the neck. It was later reported that the fight was over a ring which Hall was accused of, se- of stealing from another student. Attorney at law Marissa Dalrymple Philbert, who represented the student, made a plea for leniency. The opposition has stressed the need for the government to focus on implementing crime-fighting measures which directly target criminals. Speaking during a People's National Party Youth Organization, PNPYO's Twitter space last evening, opposition spokesman on national security Peter Bunting said states of emergency SOEs affect all citizens. He said it is important that the government implements a strategy which targets the country's estimated 300 violence producers. The commissioner of police keeps saying he has these 300 violence producers that he has these intelligence packages or files on um, and those are really the persons who the state of emergency is targeted at but we say don't suspend the rights of three million people if you're only targeting 300 find a spear fishing approach find legislation that targets just those 300 I am uncomfortable with anything that that abridges or abrogates the rights of even one citizen. But if the society feels that it is necessary, then certainly let us make it proportional. Don't, if these are the 300 that threaten the society, then let's find a mechanism to bring some of the, the powers under the state of emergency to bear on those 300, not on the entire society. Opposition spokesman on national security, Peter Bunting.